Hi folks, how are you all doing? This is another questions and answer video. Uh, so basically, yeah, if you ask a questions in the comments section, then I might just make a video answering that question. Basically, what you have to do is ask a question that might just benefit the entire community. If you are a subscriber, then you're a lot more uh, you have a lot more chance in getting that uh, question answered, you know, just goes to, uh, you know, just goes to show some love for me. Right, today's question comes from Powell P. I won't read out the question because there's some swearing in it. My basic rule of thumb is that it's okay to swear in the comments if that YouTuber swears in the video. I don't swear in my videos, I just... I just think there are better words in the English language. I think that my channel is fairly uh, family friendly and you know there might be some younger members of the audience who visit my channel. I know there is looking at my uh, my channel analytics, my statistics. Um, so you know I don't, I don't like swearing overly used in my comments because people might read the comments. Uh, yeah, I just think there's no need for it. So I won't read this comment out loud. Plus, I don't want my video demonetizing. Right, Powell P basically, this is in conjunction with yesterday's video. Did I poo poo the Microsoft Surface Pro 6 too early? Uh, that's basically about a previous video I did on the Surface Pro 6. I, basically, I just said about that that Microsoft should have waited a bit because it's too similar in specs to the Surface Pro 5. So, Paul P basically um, just says that Microsoft should buy out Huey on. That's the first part of his comment. I, I really just dislike that as an idea. Microsoft buying out Huey on. Reason being that Huion are the number two stylus company. And that's, I'm sure, Powell's line of thinking. He wants them to have a better stylus, so Microsoft should buy out Huion. But a while ago, Entrig were the number two stylus company. And that's why Microsoft brought them out. However, Microsoft stylus technology is lagging way behind now. Because Microsoft bought out Entrig and then did nothing with that technology. They let it sit on the shelf and basically rot. They haven't bothered to upgrade it at all. They stuck it in their surface. Um, yeah, I've done very, very little with it. Okay, they upgraded it at the Surface Book 5, but barely. So if they buy Huey on now, they probably won't do much with it. And everybody else will pull ahead again. So I really don't want them doing that. And if they do that, what will happen is it will open up a gap in the market. Right now, our Huion are number two, and that causes a lot of competition between them and Wacom, leaving everybody else to try and catch up, people like XP Pen and so on and so forth. Which is really good. It makes Wacom, you know, try and be more innovative. Uh, makes people like XP Pen try and catch up as well. So on and so forth. If you take Huion out of the equation, then Wacom can relax a bit and not have to be so innovative. It makes uh, XP Pen expand as a company, take over Huion's market, but they can also relax and, you know, not have to create any new tablets for a while. Why You don't want that. It means that we, as the artists, we're the ones who lose out here, not them. They get to make more profits off of us while not bringing out new tablets, not giving us anything new. Microsoft get this new technology for their Surface devices. They'll close down. They won't let Huion release anything new either. Um, yeah. And they'll just sit on the Huion technology, not upgrading it at all, like we've seen them do with the Entrig technology. Quite frankly, nobody wins. Microsoft get this new technology, but yeah, they will, they'll just sit on it exactly like they did the Entrig technology. We're the losers in this game. Everybody loses in this game. The only people who win are the people who buy Surface devices. And you won't win that much because, believe me, if Surface, 
if the Surface division of Microsoft buy this technology, then they'll want to recoup recuperate that cost from somewhere. Where do you think they'll recuperate it from? They'll charge you, the Surface buyer, that extra money that they had to spend to buy Huey on. Huey on's a fairly big company now. Um, not like in the old days where they were just a small team. They're, they're doing kind of well for themselves. So the price they'll charge for selling the company will be substantial. So yeah, when Microsoft has to recuperate the cost of buying Huey on, they'll pass it on to the people who buy Surface devices. Surface devices are already, yeah, quite expensive. They're not, you know, over the top, but they are, yeah, nicely priced, put it that way. Do you want to pay even more for a Surface device? Up to you. But there you go. That's my thought on Microsoft buying Huey on. I personally don't want to see that happen. Let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. Do you want Huey on being sold out to Microsoft? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you work for Microsoft, I'd love to hear your thoughts for sure. If you work for Huey on, I'd definitely like to hear your thoughts. Okay, so moving on to the second part of uh, Powell's comment here. He, um, again, I won't read this out, but he basically says that um, if they, he says that, you know, um, if they added uh, a more powerful GPU in, it would eat up the battery life. Um, would that be uh would that be a big problem for me uh no i i think they could compensate with a better battery uh i don't mind it eating up the battery life or there being a need for a bigger battery in i never travel too far from a plug socket you can get external battery packs as well i think for some people battery life's an issue but i think for the vast majority of people no the surface device isn't something you go and sit in a field and use um, I went from the UK to LA, which is a 12 hour flight. I took my mobile Surface um, Studio with me, and that's got less of a battery life than the Surface Book. The battery never ran out of me the whole way because there's plug sockets on aeroplanes, there's plug sockets in airports, uh, there's plug sockets on buses now, you know? Uh, battery life isn't really a problem unless you are sitting in a field and even then you get external battery packs that last you 10 hours so where's the problem you know um, and putting a better GPU into the uh, Surface Pro um, would they have to add fans into the uh, the Surface Pro as well well, yes, if they do. And would that add to fan noise? Yeah, might, might do. Is that a big issue? I've heard some people in the comments sections on my video saying they've taken devices back because the fan noises was such an issue. For me personally, no. Uh, fan noise isn't a problem. It's never been. I've certainly never been annoyed enough to take a device back. So, um, maybe if you're living in the Arizona desert and it's so hot that... You know, from the moment you're running a device, the fan is, you know, kicking in. But I live in Britain, where it's constantly cold, and when I first turned on my device, the metal is so cold that I have to put on gloves to touch my surface. So, very rarely does my fan kick up a, kick up a stink. Even if I've, you know, I'm editing videos in Premiere, um, yeah, I don't get problems. Personally... I wouldn't bother making videos about these kind of things. Um, I think I think those kind of things are clickbait. But I never get affected by them. I know some people have, have moaned about uh, fan noise and things like that. Really doesn't affect me personally. So I can't really talk about those kind of things. But uh, if you want to read Powell's comment, by the way, it's in the description. Like I say, I won't read it out because there's swearing in it. But... Yeah, um, I would sacrifice fan noise personally, and um, I don't mind sacrificing a bit of battery life for a better GPU and better specs. But I think if Microsoft do want to put in a better GPU and better specs, 
then I think, you know, make the device a little thicker uh, and put a better battery life in there. Put, you know, compensate in the ways that you have to do. I don't mind if uh, the Surface Pro becomes a little thicker. I'm not one of these guys who wants my mobile phone to be 0.3 millimeters thinner, you know, um, and become bendable <laughs> in the ways that it shouldn't be. So, yeah. I don't mind a device being a little thicker to give me, uh, you know, to give me better battery life. So that's pretty much the uh, the end of my response to Powell's comment. So yeah, I, I, for me, the main focus on that was the idea of Microsoft buying out another pen company. Be it Huey on or buy, be it somebody else, just to up their pen quality. You know, they had their chance with Entrick who were, at the time, the second best pen company. I don't know why they didn't buy out Wacom. Maybe they did try, and Wacom just said, nah, we're all right, thanks. Maybe they just didn't want Wacom. I mean, Wacom has its own past as a very large company. Um, yeah, maybe there's a myriad of reasons, and I won't go into them. But, yeah, they've had Entrig for a long time now, and they haven't done much with it. If they did try up in their game with the technology they've got, I don't think it would take much doing. For me, most of the problems with the Entrig pen that I've, you know, that I do comment on now and again, most of those problems are physical for me. I just don't like the shape of the Entrig pen, and I think the button's hard to use. The pen technology itself is pretty sound. I just think it needs to be brought up to the level where it can compete with something like the Huey on pen, and obviously you do too. For me, it wouldn't take that much to do. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell, especially if you want to ask a comment in the, you know, um, a question in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, catch me on Twitter, catch me on Facebook, catch me on Instagram as well. Remember to go and um, watch yesterday's video and this will make more sense. Remember to, remember to go and watch my previous Surface Pro 6 video with its awesome Knight Rider intro. That took me a little while to do, but it's well worth watching. If you subscribe, then you'll get to see all of my daily Q&A videos that I have done and will be doing. Well, goodbye for now and I'll see you tomorrow. I've got stuff to do, and I'm sure you have too. I'll say something cool, but really can't think of anything. So, peace out. Right now. Keep on being creative.